Hi, this is Maya with Rico. This video is how to mass print save as PDF. As you may already know, you can create PDFs using this icon in the document viewer. You can use this for each of the various um, ways of looking at your documents. If you wanted to create PDFs for more than one document at once, we'll need to return to the document list using the icon at the top. When you navigate to the list of documents that you would like to convert to PDF, navigate to the bottom of the list and select the Edit uh, button and select the Print Save as PDF option. You get a pop-up menu and this is your wizard for creating the um, export conditions. At the top, we have PDF options. We can save them uh, as individual PDFs in a zip file. So you're gonna get one PDF per each record that you select. Um, you can save as a single PDF. So it'll take all of the documents and all 129 in this list and squish them into one PDF with many, many, many pages or you can save as a PDF portfolio, which is kind of a combination of those two. Portfolio is going to open in your local um, Acrobat um, PDF application, and it will show your PDFs as individual records within that container. I'll select save as individual PDFs in a zip. Now the naming options are what your individual files are going to be named. Um, in this case, it'll reflect the um, default identifier in your database. In this case, it's the control number, your database, it may be called something else like um, doc ID, um, bed control, something like that. You can also select a field and navigate to the field that you want to name, such as the beginning base number. This is great for when you're exporting production images. And the file types at the bottom here, this allows you to configure which viewer your records are coming from. We have our natives. This is the native application in the record we were looking at. It was the um, Outlook file type, but it'll take whatever native file type and make a new um, PDF based on that document. The original images is the images viewer, which allows you to um, print any highlighting or redactions that are on that document. You also get the additional option here to include a slip sheet. This slip sheet is going to um, be a page of your metadata and it's based on one of your coding layouts. So for instance, if you're exporting a witness kit, um, you can use your deponent witness kit um, coding layout, which should include, you know, which deponent is tagged for these records and maybe issues fields, maybe some terms hits reports so you can see which terms hits on each document, attorney comments, and so forth. Now the stamp identifier is going to be important for um, exporting as a single PDF where you don't have a file name per each record. Um, in this case, you'll need to put either the production um, production number or the um, bed control number and put it um, someplace where you can see. This is also especially helpful for if you're going to ultimately print these um, to hard copy. You'll also need to have the document identifier if you're not exporting produced images so that you can cross-reference any reports that you have about the documents back to the original database so you don't get lost. So I'm going to export um, my set of produced images. Um, oh, one thing I didn't mention is in the options, you can make text searchable for your PDFs. This is a great feature for smaller document sets, but for larger document sets, it may take a bit too long for you to export, in which case you'll want to not make the text searchable um, at this stage, but after they've exported and downloaded, use your local 
PDF tool to make the text searchable. One last thing, um, if you're going to use your original images, the only documents that will export as PDFs will be the documents that have images. You'll need to check your database, um, either the image count field or perhaps the has images field to make sure that all of your documents that you're going to export actually have images. And this holds true for the option of exporting produced images and selecting the option include original images for documents that haven't been produced. Um, this will uh, this sets a priority order of which image to export to PDF. If you have production images, that'll be the first priority. If it doesn't have production images, it's going to default to the original images. So we are going to export the zip with the bed control and I'm going to select original images and I'm going to include a slip sheet in my export. We'll hit save as PDF and we get a message that this is working. When your download is complete, we're going to get a um, download icon down at the bottom of our window and we're also going to get an email notification that our files are ready to download. Okay, our files are downloading. Now this gives us a list of documents not saved as PDF, so I'm going to take a look at those documents and see what's up with them. So here's a list of the documents that were not saved. As you can see they're Excel documents and they have no images. So to include these in our little witness binder, we'll need to download the native file from within the document viewer. So here's our zip file containing the exported images. And you can see they're named by the um, control number and it tells us that they're the images. And here's our slip sheet with our coding fields and then the document that we exported. So that's the nuts and bolts of mass exporting to PDF. Thanks for joining me today and happy reviewing.